Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode on Shorty Gray Television. Today, we are going to be playing a little bit of Demon Souls. All right. I'm very psyched to get into this. This is one of the main reasons that I wanted a PS5 to begin with. And we're about to figure out just what's up with this. I remember playing the original on PlayStation 3. I used to love it back then. Let's see if it's even better now. On the first day, the world fell into darkness with the Demon King. Heck yeah, bud. Come on, bro. You got to fight. There you go. Ooh. Oh shit, there he comes y'all, here he comes! Look at this big boy, Jesus! Alright. All right, guys. Are we ready? All right, let's get into it, y'all. You know we gotta call it short gray, right? Alright. I remember in the past I played as the magician a couple times. Nice, has 14 strength, 10 vitality. Oh, 
Magician has 15 magic, 15 intelligence, 9 vitality. Hmm. This one wasn't in the PS3 version, I know that. Alright, so we're going to go with the Temple Knight, y'all. For this run, we'll go with the Temple Knight. Ooh, you were like Harry Potter in this shit. Well, not him, but his buddy. Bruh, that looks dope. Looks like a demon there yourself. Hell yeah, bud. Dude, I think this guy looks mean King as fuck. Let's do it. The by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. 
was cut off from the outside world. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. The deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free. And here, bud, you ain't ready for this? The old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless folk had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure as the twin fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. The sick Saint Astria with her night gull vineyard. And Sage Freak the visionary. <sighs> Colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Sorry about the wait, y'all. I had to grab some coffee real quick. It's early in the morning where I'm at. I'm getting ready to go to work here pretty soon. Figure I'd hop on here though and at least make this character real quick. Wish I could have picked a different weapon though. Come on, Mop. Come on, Mop. Yeah, I don't really care for this weapon. I like the guy's stats, just not his weapon. Huh. 
It's just slow to swing. See? God. I'm God. I know how to do that. I've already done it once. Come on, son. Heck yeah, bud. Can't fuck with the master. Nope, won't let you back there. Come on, bud. Oh, backstabbing for days. What it do? Alright, just so you guys know, Crash and Moongrass, that's for health. If it's anything like the original game, that's for health. Hell yeah, bud. Oh, gangster, gangster. What you looking at? Backstabbing it. Hell yeah, bud. You don't know, man. I'm about to rock all ya. It's going down. Heck yeah, bud. I don't remember that being there in the older game. We're getting closer and closer to the tutorial boss. I remember in the original game, he was a bitch to beat, man. He, me and my friends, man, whenever we first started playing this, we would always just keep on. Every time we would die to this tutorial boss, we would always keep on just restarting the game, going back to it, trying different builds, trying to see which you know build was easiest for us to take him with right off the rip. And that's why I was talking about that magician earlier, because in the old game. The Magician, that was the easiest character to take out this tutorial boss with because you just light him up with fire the whole time while you're keeping your distance. Is that L2 for prayer? Yep. Alright, cool. Usually is, but I just want to check. Oh! Ice cold! That's a parry, bitch! What'd it do? Uh. Oh, two platoon. Come on, ma. Man, dude, it's hard to hit with this thing in this tight ass corner. Tight ass corridor, I mean. Come on, ma.
There you go, bitch. That sucks, I already had to use that. Just so you know, whenever you own the weapon with both hands, that means do that, that some of their attacks are more than likely going to get through and damage you. See? A little bit of that got through. Hell yeah, bud. Alright guys, so we're probably just going to get through the tutorial today, because then I'm going to have to get ready to go to work, <laughs> and then we'll pick this up later on. Okay, that's how you do it. Come on, ma. Got some more crescent moon grass off his bitch ass. Go rolling around in the river. Hell yeah, bud. Unknown warrior soul. I'm glad you yelled, bud. Heck yeah. Ooh, got that moon grass from him. Got that moon grass. Used to be you could jump. How can you jump in this? Used to be he's held O and then click the center button. Once you got a good enough run on it.
Hell yeah, bud. Just so you guys know, half moon grass, that thing heals you quicker than just the normal moon grass. It heals up more health at once. So make sure you only use those when you're really in a pinch and you really need to. But yeah, these half moon grass, they'll heal your health twice as fast for real. Alright, we're getting close to the boss, guys. Up here is the tutorial boss area. Y'all ready for this? Let's fucking get it, pal. Come on, Mop. Ooh! Man, why else I played this, y'all? Come on, ma. He's gonna get me and I'm not even gonna do a bit of damage. Shit! Soul of the lost withdrawal. Man, come on, dude. I wanted to go back and fight him. Shit. Yeah, I can eventually. No, I'm so mad I didn't get hit in on that Toro boss, like Man, fucking for real. You slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. So basically, each one of these, they transport you to different parts of the world. And they all have demons that you kill in them. Also, just so you guys know, whenever you kill a demon, you get their demon soul and makes you human again. Do you want to come back here and kill yourself when you become human again? Mainly because every time that you die while in actual physical form out in the world, it makes the world around you a lot harder. It makes your enemies a lot harder. And it makes it a lot more difficult. Mm. You knew here. The name is in trade. I'll give you weapons. For both your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? No interest, eh? I can tell you. No, right now I'm just too broke, bro. When the scouts came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons, but I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you, brave. Slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Mm -hmm. So that's where you go to store extra shit that you don't need at the moment.
Tell you what, though. I love how the graphics looked in this compared to how they used to look on the PS3. Used to be an ugly, ugly fucking game. Nice. This is formidable. All right, let's move out. Run! Head this way real quick. Pretty sure ain't none over here, but I always like checking just to be sure. All right, but we're winning, bud. Okay, so we're gonna go kill this first demon, or at least we're gonna start. On this position. Yeah, this is there you definitely want to go to first because the rest of them are like hell this early in the game. Man, come on, dude. Come on, Jeff. There. Backstabbing for days, son. Oh, I forgot, just so you guys don't get messed up like by that the way I just did. The reason I only have half health is because I'm in spirit form. 
you only have full health whenever you're in actual physical body form. But the more you raise your attributes, the higher your health will go even in this form too. Hell yeah, bud. All right, you better get down and lay down. Yeah, the Magician is like playing some easy mode, because if I had the Magician, I'd just line up the fireball right there. The fuck? Man, come on, dude. Come on, pussy. Hell yes, yeah, son. Just so you know, if you jump in there, you're gonna die. Like he just did. Dumbass. Ooh, fuck. Heck yeah, bud. And you know, here's another cool thing, guys, just so you're aware of this. The, the one of the main reasons you want to keep it in this form, even though you get only half your health, is because, like I was saying, whenever you're in full physical form and you die in this game, it makes the whole entire game harder, right? It makes the whole world a lot more fucked up. But, when you die in spirit form like this, it does nothing. It literally, like, it doesn't make it no harder. It's, you know... It, it's just, it's just so much better to stay in spirit form. I cannot stress that enough. Do not go into physical form unless you're just trying to play this game on such a ridiculously hard mode that you're never going to be able to beat it. You know what I mean? Run! Ooh, got the mail breaker. What up, son? Man, listen here, bud. You suck dick. Dude, I hate this weapon. Dude, this weapon sucks, bro. This is too big. Oh. Hard to hit him in that fucking tight corridor, man. I shouldn't even have lost as much health as I did. That's ridiculous. Ooh, 
scolding you. Motherfuckers. Straight wrecking them. Jesus. Ah, got him. bud and that's how you unlock this little guy right here and that's the bastard sword you definitely want to make sure you get that y'all matter of fact I'm probably gonna be switching up my weapons here in a second now This one's really got, does not do enough damage though. Jesus. Yeah, it makes it like I'm walking tank though. All right, so I guess we'll have to switch back to Halberg for now. Ah, 
Hell yeah, bud. Ooh, I'm like a ninja. Does it though? I mean, yeah, this next guy is pretty hard. I know what they're talking about, but does it though? This guy is extremely difficult. Matter of fact, I know I'm not gonna be able to kill him right now, so we'll just come back later. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. What do, ma? Oh, got you. Heck yeah, son. Yeah, I know this shortcut. <laughs> you got the fire bombs. Come out to play. Hell yeah, bud. That's gang shit. Time for us to raise the roof. Oh, what it do, bud? Keep it moving. Heck yeah, buddy. Let's get it. Alright, matter of fact, we're gonna head back down this way real quick. How was it that I opened that the last time? Oh, it was through that one corridor with the mist. Okay, that's how it was.
Oh, bruh. What'd it do? Head over here, buddy. Alright. Alright guys, we're probably gonna call it a day right there. Uh, I gotta get to work, y'all.